exclusive. Hector Pardo saw his gold medal chances ended by a painful injury on Thursday. Express Sports spoke to the 20-year-old before his Olympic journey began. After seeing his chances of a medal gradually slip away, 20-year-old Hector Pardo began to regain momentum towards the end of the grueling men's 10km swim at Tokyo 2020. With the end in sight, a stray elbow left his Olympic dreams, as well as his eye socket, in tatters. Strangely enough, the youngster recognized the dangers of a deceptively physical sport weeks before his Olympic journey began. Pardo would have waltzed into the games with an air of confidence having won his FINA qualifier in June, capitalizing on his final opportunity to qualify for Tokyo. After a fast start was followed by a disappointing middle section, he launched an attack to secure a top 10 finish with just 2 kilometers to go. Then, his chances went up in flames. While running on fumes and swimming on autopilot in the open water, a sharp elbow from an unnamed rival left him black and blue, putting an end to his afternoon. After the race, he said, my goggles snapped off and I couldn't see a thing. It swelled up and I didn't realize how bad it was. I couldn't see anything and thought my eye had fallen out in the water. It was a brutal and unjust end to Pardo's hard-fought journey to the Games, in one of the most physically demanding yet worst paid sports on the Olympic calendar. The youngster took his training to Montpellier in 2020 to grow under the tutelage of legendary French coach, Philippe Lucas. Speaking exclusively to Express Sport back in May, Pardo said, Whenever I'm walking around France and people see my goggle tan lines, they know I'm a swimmer. When I say I'm coached by Philippe Lucas, everybody knows who he is and what he is, a crazy coach with this ideology of training hard, and if you don't train hard he doesn't want to coach you. Anybody can run a marathon with a few months training. But if you ask most people to swim 10k with the same amount of time training I don't think they could do it. Out of the Olympic sports, I would say it is the most grueling for sure. My training here is geared around making you mentally strong. When you're absolutely dead, keep going. When I'm training all I do is train, eat, sleep and train again and I've not got the energy to do much else because I'm just dead. That much is unsurprising. Considering a normal day of training comprises of at least five hours back and forth in the pool, on top of multiple gym sessions per week. To sustain that level of exercise, a grueling diet of 6,000 calories a day is forced down, equivalent to 187 slices of toast day in, day out. Although Pardo's diet is markedly more sophisticated than that. 